And so to race five, the biggest race of the day is the Kipco 2000 Guineas, the first classic of the British flat season. Cannot wait. And you name it, over the last however many decades, the best horses have won this race. Be it Nijinsky, be it Dancing Brave, Frank or See the Stars, they've all won it. And it is that piece of thoroughbred immortality. I'm really looking forward to the, the 2024 renewal, 11 declared Colts for it. These are the three that I've whittled it down to and the top two are probably going to come as no surprise but number one in the frame in my trifecta one who's finished behind both Rosalian and City of Troy that is the Dewhurst second Alien Arby who I hope can run very well and I think if he runs to his Dewhurst level he will be in the shake-up but he won't be beating the top two and the top two certainly for myself and I think for plenty of others number nine Rosalian trained by Richard Hannon who 10 years ago won this great race with Knight of Thunder um, Rosalian an outstanding juvenile. I think what he did in the Prix Jean-Luc Lagardère on Prix de de Triomphe Day was a win of the highest order and of course the vibes, everything that seems to be going right ahead of Saturday, it all seems to be ticking the right boxes and I hope that Rosalian, if he's the same force he was last year, if not a little bit better, then he's got a massive say in this. Any normal year I might be putting him up as a win selection but I am going to go for City of Troy. He is the odds on favourite. He has been throughout the winter. He was the outstanding juvenile of last year from the July course through what he went and did in the Dewhurst comparisons with that F word with Frankel. He's an unbeaten superstar. He represents Aidan O'Brien, who's won this race a record 10 times. Never has one of his come via a prep run. So the fact that he goes there fresh is exactly the right thing. He's the sole representative and I think he's going to stamp his class as the best horse from last year, who hopefully remains just that in 2024. It is a confident selection. I just want to go and watch him win City of Troy to win the first classic.